shaders. Some mysterious cosmic being from outer space filled with... No, really, after some time it feels exactly like programming, but with colors. I was really aiming high to get something like Hearthstone, but this is just not my level. And I ended up with this fire coming out of the ice, and I think it is something. And as we mentioned the Hearthstone, let's move there for a second. Hearthstone did really rose a bar in here and show how it should be done. Just look at the head crack. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Compared to the original one, it's totally different card. The lighting here is totally different. There is moving UV fire trail. Look at the color of the shoulders. Moving background, some flame flying around. And this undead jaw, it's shaking in here. I can recreate all of those effects, not exactly the same, they are much worse, separately, but I can't fit it into one shader. So yeah, after this introduction, let's jump to what I did. If you have ever done anything inside of the Unity, for sure you recall this guy which was called Brachis. He had a tons of videos about every aspect of the Unity, from programming, to the shaders, to the graphics, to the, like composing a team for a game jam. And in one of those, he was creating the grass shader when the waving was applied to the very top, like a wind, and on the bottom, it was stale. So I recall this video and I used the gradient to strengthen the UVO movement on the top and to totally stale it, like get it to the zero on the wolf ice level. And to be honest, this is not something easy for me. I mean, it's kind of easy to create those graphs, it's not the biggest issue in the world. But to get the parameters correct, this is the hardest part, because I don't really know what I want to achieve, and there is like a blank spot that you have just to create and totally experiment, experiment, experiment all over it again. And here we are, getting to the end of this video. Oh, by the way, there is a new scene transition in here, which you can see right now. And here is a question for you. Do you even like this effect? Do you think that it should be applied to the first scene also? To the Odin hearse, to the Odin bird? to the, all of the other characters in there, so we can have more like animation style UI. Or maybe you're thinking that this is just a waste of my time and I should be doing something more to get this game closer to the release. Please answer in the comments. For now, see ya and boy!